In this Antler Geeks DIY, I'm going to show you guys how to make an awesome fuel point target that will probably last 50 times longer than a standard bag target. What I did here is I got a 2 inch by 12 treated, 6 foot long piece of uh, treated board. I cut it in half at 36 inches. So the other things that you'll need is four, four threaded all rods. This one's, this is 3 8 36 inches long. You're going to want probably longer, obviously, if you're going to want to make a bigger target, but I wanted to make a fairly decent sized backstop uh, fuel point target. So, And then you need carpet. And when it comes to making these targets, the carpet is everything. Um, you don't want to use any of the rubber backed, tar uh, rubber backed carpet. That way it doesn't melt to your arrow when you go in. But uh, just like a medium pile, standard carpet, Go dumpster diving behind a carpet supply place or anything like that. They're always getting rid of this stuff. And you're going to need a fairly large amount of carpet. But uh, this particular target, I cut them 33 inches long by uh, uh, 11 inches wide. 11 inches is about the minimum that you're going to want to make it. Uh, usually about 15, 16 inches is perfect. If you go thinner, you're going to have to compress it more. But all you got to do is cut your carpet into them strips and then pile them in. And uh, we're going to go ahead and stack these rest of the last little bit of this carpet that I got cut. Stack it in, put it on top, and tighten it down, and then shoot it with an arrow and see how much more we got to compress it. So uh, stick along. We're going to go ahead and finish out this target. Now that I got all the carpet layers in there, I got the top pre-drilled board on top, put the screw, uh, tighten them down just a little bit. I just went just a little snug. Now you want to get the front of the target, the face laying perfectly flat. So with this just barely snug, I'm going to tip it on its side. I'm just going to stand on these layers and pack them down. So that the front of this is perfectly flat and then from there I'm going to start torquing down until I get the right compression to where it starts stopping arrows. Okay now I got the top on I got it snug down I measured the all four corners to make sure that everything's evenly torqued down and uh, everything's all nice and front flat in the front and uniform so I'm gonna stand it up I'm gonna check it with a probably an arrow that you're not too in love with but just to see if I got the compression right and if I don't if I'm getting too much penetration all I gotta do is keep on torquing these down until I get the right amount of penetration you know all, everybody's bows are different all their arrows are different so you might get a little bit more penetration but that's the beauty of this target is that you just tighten it back down tighten it down and it compresses them layers. So um, you start shooting out a couple of layers of target, just take it apart and put some new layer in there. Obviously this target's going to be bigger when I'm done. Uh, I got uh, still a good 13, 14 inches of all rod left that's going to be filled with carpet. So this backstop's going to get bigger, but for the sake of time and running out of carpet, went ahead and threw it together. I got it compressed down. So it's real easy. Anybody could do this target. You know, I just, the biggest pain is cutting. You just spend a lot of time cutting it. It does take quite a bit of carpet, but if you can get it for free, obviously it doesn't cost you anything. So that's all torqued down. Stand it up. I'm going to check it with an arrow.